Good morning. I'm Pastor Corby Johnson, and I'm so glad that you joined me today for Devotions in the Proverbs. If it's your first time, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. If you're old and faithful, well, not old like ancient, but <laughs> if you've been a regular member, thank you for coming back, and thank you for sharing this with your friends. Whenever you hit share on your Facebook, it goes to your friends, and they can share it again and again. And it's so delightful to hear from people who were on the third or fourth share that said, ah, I just never knew. So thank you for being a kind Christian, wanting other people to be included in this um, proverb study. Today is Wednesday, October 13th, and we are on Proverbs chapter 26, verses 11 and 12. I do keep this going slowly because there's so much in each proverb. So this one, um, this one made me kind of go, ugh, but makes me a little uncomfortable as well. As a dog returns to its vomit, so fools repeat their folly. Do you see a person wise in their own eyes, there is more hope for a fool than for them. Interesting sentences put together. As a dog returns to his vomit, have you seen that before? Oh, gosh. So a fool repeats their folly again and again, doing the same thing, trying to get different results, but when you do the same thing, you get the same results, don't you? Um, I just want you to imagine with me watching a dog vomit. And then, not long after that, the dog goes back to its vomit and begins to eat it. Oh, I can hardly even think about it because it just makes me sick to see a dog do that. So the scripture says, as a dog returns to his vomit, so a fool repeats their folly. Their folly, their mistakes. Something that they do over and over again that, uh really <clears throat> kind of the feeling you have when you see a dog going back to ingest what it's already gotten rid of. That's a good way of saying it, huh? <clears throat> As an activity, I want you to think about, do you know a person you think is wise in his or her own eyes? Someone you think who is wise in his or her own eyes. Someone who feels that they have all the answers. Someone who is afraid of other people who may be wiser or have more friends or higher social standing than they do. What is it about this person or these people that think they have it all, and yet they're missing that important component. These people usually have an underlying fear about them. So think about somebody you may know that keeps doing the same thing over and over and over again, hoping there's a different result. And who may really be afraid more than angry. As an action, be kind, be amiable, be patient. We never know what the other person is truly going through because we are not in their position. And we have not experienced in life what they have experienced. 
and sometimes they are just doing the best that they possibly can. Compassion and kindness go a long way towards another person's plight. As a dog returns to its vomit, so fools repeat their folly. Do you see a person wise in their own eyes? There's more hope for a fool than for them. The word of the Lord for the people of God. Thanks be to God.